All right, so it's time for a July book haul. I've got about 40 books to go through here, and uh, some of the first ones I'm going to go through are some upgrades to some previous books I had. So a while back I had got this box set of H.G. Wells books, and these were from Arcturus Press, which I believe comes from the UK. And they're cool and all. They have some kind of interesting, you know, modern artwork, more uh, graphic design than, than art. Uh, but I managed to get this older Berkeley box set of H.G. E. Wells novels, and it had basically all the same ones with a couple more. And I really love the covers of some of these. So here's The Island of Dr. Moreau. I've already read and reviewed this book. And these are all these are all reprints from Berkeley, but all pretty cool. The First Men in the Moon. Some more great artwork. In the Days of the Comet. The Invisible Man. This one I'll be reading soon for the series that I'm doing. Some of the spines are offset a little bit, but that's okay. War of the Worlds. This is another one that will be going over in this series. The Time Machine. Now this is the only one that had a little bit of cracking on the spine. But still got some great art artwork on there. And then the last one in the box set is The Food of the Gods. And so these will all go nicely on, on my shelves behind me. The other ones were a little bit too big to fit on the shelves. So kind of stoked on that. And then I had this old copy or a kind of a newer reprint from Bantam of Dandelion Wine by Ray Bradbury. And I already read and reviewed that one. But I got this one, it's a little bit older. I really like the cover, cover a bit more on this one. And so I'm gonna upgrade this to my collection. The other one will go into my donation or giveaway or someday sale, sell. And then I had this copy of Earth Abides by George R. Stewart. This was my 2023 book of the year. And I found this one in my local bookstore. I ended up getting it for a dollar. And it's not the true first U.S. paperback, but it's still a little bit cool. I like the, the artwork a little bit better on there. It's got the painted text block, and it was in, like, perfect shape, so... Those are some upgrades. <clears throat> and then also got a paperback of the Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. And this one I had a couple other like hardbacks or trade paperbacks, but didn't have a paperback of that one. Then Andrea, Andre Norton Starborn. This is from Ace Books. Still have yet to read anything from Andre Norton. She's, she wrote so many books. I see them everywhere. That kind of automatically makes me reluctant to really dig in, but I, I definitely will be checking her out at some point. Then Jack McDevitt, Deep Six. Uh, I think I will really like Jack McDevitt. I think he mixes science fiction with archaeology, and those are two things I really enjoy, so I don't know if that's the best place to start. I think I have some other ones of his that it would probably be better to start with. Then I got Paul Anderson, The Avatar. This one came in a lot that I got of Paul Anderson from eBay, and it's just got a fantastic cover, and it's in really good shape. That one is from Berkeley. Another Paul Anderson, this is Orion Shall Rise, and this is a Pocket Books. And 
And then Arthur C. Clarke's 3001, The Final Odyssey from Del Rey. I have the other three in the, I don't even know what you call this, the Odyssey series, starting with 2001. Um, but I was missing this one, so now I have all of them. I'd eventually like to read through all of them. Then we got uh, Barry Malzberg, The Men Inside. Very, very interesting cover. This is from Magnum Science Fiction. Let me see if I can get that. There's a lot going on in this one. So we got that. This is an author I've never heard of. It's The Death Master by Benj Benjamin Appel. But I got this for a buck and it's from Popular Library, but the cover is really cool. Maybe at some point I'll get around to reading this or maybe someone knows something about that author and that book. Fritz Lieber, Our Lady of Darkness. Got quite a few Fritz Liebers now, or Liber, I should say, but the, I, I've only read one of his novels so far. And then Theodore Sturgeon, Not Without Sorcery. Very interesting cover on this one. Someone did rip a price sticker off the top, so it's kind of messed up the Ballantine badge there. But I've pretty much liked everything I've read from Teddy, but I haven't heard of that one. Haven't really heard many people talk about that one. Then I got Damon Knight, The Other Foot. Damon Knight is someone that I've heard a lot about recently. And he brought, I think he was kind of responsible for bringing a more literary effort into science fiction. So I definitely want to try reading some of his short works and even some of his novels. I think I have two or three at least of his now. Then I got a few Dawes here. We got James Blish, Midnight Summer Century, or Midsummer Century. And this one isn't in the best shape, but definitely serviceable. And it's got some really interesting artwork there. And then Blue Face by G.C. Edmondson. I don't know anything about this author or this book, but this is a real thin, small daw. This one's only 128 pages, so you never know. I might kind of knock some of these out in between some of my other reads. Ian Wallace, A Voyage to Derry. I originally got Ian Wallace confused with Ian Watson and bought up a few of his books. And I know Ian Watson, I'm reading one of his books right now, but I haven't heard much about Ian Wallace, so we'll just have to see. Then I got a Heinlein. This is Job, A Comedy of Justice. You know, I don't... I don't know about Heinlein, really. I mean, I've, I've read a few of his books that I like. I really like Stranger in a Strange Land. I, I might read some of these at some point, but it's listed as a Del Rey fantasy. This was, locally, I got this for a dollar, and it was in really nice shape, so went ahead and picked it up. Then I got some Isaac Asimov. We got The Bicentennial Man and other stories from Fawcett and Crest. Kind of doing a thing, revisiting some of the robot stories and filling in some of the ones that I never read. I finally got a copy of iRobot. I've read this a couple times in the past and have passed on many Will Smith covers and just beat up copies, but finally found a pretty decent copy of a Fawcett Crest. And then the last one from Asimov that I got here is Eight Stories from the Rest of the Robots. And if you don't know, the, the rest of the robots, it's basically these eight short stories. And then they tacked on two kind of full-length novels that he had written. I, for, I forget the exact ones, but they're the robot novels. So this kind of just stripped out the eight short stories and took the novels out of it. 
Okay, we got getting into the the better of the lot as far as I'm concerned here. Got Robert Silverberg downward to the earth. And this is a signet, and there's a kind of a batch of books from Silverberg that'll have have this livery. And I think I almost have them all now. I'll have to check at some point. Got a spinrad, we got Norman Spinrad, No Direction Home. And this is from Pocket Books. This is one I did not have. Now we got some from Michael Bishop. Stolen Faces, and I recently read, what was it called, Transfigurations, and someone mentioned this book, and then right after that I found this copy, and I was kind of considering reading, it even mentions uh, Little Knowledge, and and then I read the synopsis of this one, and this one has me intrigued, this, this might be my next Michael Bishop read. Also got Beneath the Shattered Moons, and the original title was And Strange at Ectabon the Trees, something like that. I believe this was his first novel ever published, and then Daw did a, a reprint. I think, I think I heard him talking about this one. I think he revised it a bit too, but not sure. And then... Me and Matt from Science Fiction Reads and Richard from Vintage SF, we've been doing this uh, Ballantine Best Of series, and we all have like the main core books. I think there's 21, but there was two that were kind of added on later. And one I, I had been wanting, and it's the best of John Brunner, mostly for the cover and mostly because I really do want to read this. I, I think, uh, from what I can tell, I'll really get along with his writing, and all these short stories sound pretty interesting. This can be a hard book to find. I managed to find this online for 10 bucks, but most of them you see will be more than that. And I mean, it's not perfect, but it's in pretty good shape. And then the last one that was in the list was The Best of H.P. Lovecraft. Blood Curling Tales of Horror and the Macabre. But when I ordered this, I, I couldn't quite tell. I, I didn't realize this is a trade paperback. I'll hold up kind of a standard one here. And maybe someone can tell me, you know, all of them are the, the normal paperback size. And then this is the only one that's a trade paperback. And that kind of bothers me a bit. So I don't know if this was ever published as a standard paperback. Maybe I just bought the wrong one by accident, but maybe someone can let me know. I don't know. From my research, I haven't found like a good picture of someone holding it up to another book to let me verify it. Then I've got a couple hardbacks. I, I showed this one when I did the review of Transfigurations by Michael Bishop. It's just very interesting how different the covers are in, in quite a few different Michael Bishop books, but um, I really like this book. It was just so fascinating, so unique. Um, definitely want to reread that again at some point, too. And I guess I should, yeah, this is a true first edition. We got the price on the dust jacket and all that. And then also got Ancient of Days by Michael Bishop, and this is from Arbor Press. And this is a first edition, uh, the first uh, printing in the U.S. hardback with the, uh, the price there of $16.95. Okay, last stack here. We got two from Clifford Simic as I slowly try to get every novel. And I also have a lot of short story collections of his. But we've got Project Pope from Del Rey. This might be my next, well, I don't know. I've read a lot of his religious based science fiction, so I might mix it up with something else. Um, we got The Visitors. This is also from Del Rey. And last little pile here, we got Joanna Russ, We Who Are About To. And this is from Dell. 
Dell does a pretty good job on some of their books. I like the, any any book with the painted text block I really like. I do think it really helps preserve um, the, the actual pages. You don't see them yellow as bad. I don't know if that's really a, a thing or not, but they do seem to hold up well. Maybe they just use better paper though. We got two from Henry Kuttner because I recently read Fury and I'd like to read more of his work. The first one is a 35 cent Ballantine. This is Bypass to Otherness. It's in pretty decent shape considering its age, which is probably pretty old, 1961, maybe not that old. And then Return to Otherness, which I assume has some sort of tie in. I, I believe these are all short stories um, collected up, but. You know, and I didn't check, I also have the Ballantine Best of Henry Kuttner. There could be a lot of the same stories in both of these. Now we got a couple of these that I really like. These are these little ace minis. I don't know the technical term for them. But we got Rogers Lasney, Four for Tomorrow. And this, this one is in just such good shape. And even the the text inside, there's there's no yellowing, which seems to happen to some of these. It's just in fantastic shape, so glad I got that. And then Philip K. Dick, Dr. Blood Money. And this, I believe, is the true first U.S. printing. I can't remember if this one came as an ace double. I, I don't really like collecting ace doubles for a couple different reasons, but... Um, I really like these smaller aces, and Philip Dick has quite a few that were published in this format, and I have quite a few of them now. I think I'm only missing a few. Then my favorite, one of my favorites, I guess, that I've read from, from Dick so far, A Scanner Darkly. I love this book. I love the movie, the sort of animated one. It's just, I don't know, I just, there's something about this one I really like, so... This is a uh, first printing from Del Rey, 1977. So I'm also trying to slowly collect all the Philip K. Dicks out there. It's, it's a monumental task though. And then our friends from uh, Frolic 8, this is a Ace. I believe this is a reprint, so this isn't the original version that came out in paperback. So that's it. That's another book haul. Uh, I think I've mentioned a couple times. I think I'm going to do probably a couple more book hauls and then kind of the main area of my shelves will be fairly full. There's still quite a bit of space. And then I have some ideas of kind of reorganizing them a bit, but I want to, I'm going to do a, a book tour, a bookshelf tour of the state that the shelves are in at the time. Like I said, that'll probably be more in the fall. So, once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.